what AC Edge is all about. Um, we started uh, 16 years ago this, um, uh, in Bristol from St. Paul's, uh, from a uh, 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 humble beginning of two houses of which uh, the aspirations for me at the time have been to welcome uh, the refugees, actually the migrants who are coming to our city. And as, as Paul said, not only to welcome them with housing, which uh, it, it, it's one of the things that we do in ACH, but also to give them hope and opportunities. Um, it, is, it is the opportunities, the second one, which um, I want to speak to you a little bit about um, in, in terms of the work that we do. That's absolutely critical if we are to realize. One of the key things uh, ACH stands for is that the, you know, there's about 20% of our amazing city of Bristol that have been uh, um, through a lot sort of uh, born in this, uh, in this country. So, um, of all the people who are coming to our great city, we really want to realize their full potential. And, and that can only happen by helping them to get, to help them integrate into our society and into our economy. So, uh, what I wanted to share with you is that, um, do you, uh, I just want people here to appreciate the levels of displacement around the world. Uh, since we are speaking of migration, refugees, agenda, uh, anybody, do you want to really have a go at how many people are displaced um, in the world? And I want to talk about space of so people who um, could be internal displaced or external displaced. Um, yeah, just give it, give it a go. Um, you want, this is not a test. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get an idea. Two billion. Two million? Is that very close? Did you say two billion? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, very high, idea. Yeah. <laughs> so about 100 million, 120 million people are spaced in the latest units in our um, latest agents. Migration, migration is uh, here to stay. Um, and a lot of it is not only driven by conflict, but something is driven by the climate change, which uh, we will see more and more of it. Um, what, what I really, when we are speaking about refugees and, and migration change, I want to speak about a very powerful uh, poem by Watson Sher, who really makes the difference, she brings home the difference between refugees and migrants. And she said, no mother puts her child on a boat unless the sea is safer than the land. Refugees don't leave their home country by choice or they want to come here to be on some kind of it. They leave their home country because they are fleeing from persecution, they are fleeing from conflict. Um, and it is, it is that that absolutely differentiates from um, uh, the, the, the migrants who are leaving or coming to our country because they want to, uh, they're looking for a better life. So, in ACH, um, we're a housing association, we also deliver uh, training and support to people that come to us. I just want to share with you, for the past 15 years, um, the numbers that we've done. So we have worked with 6,500 people. Um, uh, we've got 2,000 uh, either um, uh, a volunteering or in to work, 2,500 people. Um, really pleased about that. And what, what actually I'm most proud of is the number of people that we work with to start their own businesses. Um, refugees are typically described as people who are unemployed or underemployed. Um, so those who are farthest away from work are typically women. And one of the one of the things that Julia, who's here at the back, uh, have been doing is enterprise work and what what. what a lot of these women who they are from Ukraine, Syria, have uh, amazing enterprises. A lot of the food that you have today uh, has been put together by the business that we're working with. So, um, it, for us to realize that full potential that um, um, we're speaking about, I think, you know, giving opportunities to these um, women is, is, is critical. So, we, we've worked with 1,000 people to set up their own businesses, and a lot of them, as I said, are uh, women from different parts of the world. So I really want to conclude by um, saying uh, enjoy the report, enjoy today. Um, what, uh, since today is a World Refugee Day and uh, uh, 
what I want to leave you with is that um, migration will, you know, there, there will be more people that will come to our shores, whether it's uh, uh, whether through migration or through refugees. And what, and if we want to realize their full potential, we really need to not see them as burdens to our society and see them as genuine people who have the skills and the aspirations that if we give them the opportunities that they need, the investment, the training, um, that they will contribute to our society. So um, I want to leave by saying it was more to work not just for the benefit of the uh, people who are coming here, but for the benefit of everybody uh, in, in the region. So please enjoy today, um, make up with us, ask us any questions. And I'm really pleased we've got um, colleagues from the local government and, and, and worker who uh, We've been doing amazing work. Um, uh, we've been supporting us in the work that we do. Uh, so we work with Weka, uh with the uh, enterprise project that I have spoken to you about, and we've been working with uh, Jay Taylor and her team for the past couple of years in giving training. And, and, and it's absolutely critical. People like Stephen and Jane, who are here, um, the, the support that they give us, not only in terms of uh, finances, but uh, support in terms of. Um, you know the, the, the goodwill um, and um, so so that the work that we do is, is recognised. So I really want to thank you for um, for all you've done with us and all also to the whole community um, uh, members who also have really played a huge part. Um, it, it, it's the refugees themselves that somebody asked me earlier today. Um, what do you really want to see um, change in the new government that's coming? Um, I know all of us will not talk about politics, and there's one thing I want to say. Um, it, I really want to see representation. Um, uh, so, uh, in, in the next government election, or, or whoever comes into power, what I really would like to see is that refugees are not only, you know, we don't impose policies on them, but they are included, consulted, co designed by uh, the policies of which, whether they are national or local, uh, are coming to affect their lives. So, I'll just talk that for you. I know I broke the law up. Thank you so much. Uh,